Every 37 seconds, someone is arrested for possession of marijuana. Since 2010, state and local police have arrested an estimated 7.3 million Americans for violating marijuana laws, over half of all drug arrests. Black people are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana laws than white people. States waste $3.7 billion enforcing marijuana laws every year. Most of the people police are arresting aren't dealers, but rather people with small amounts of pot, just like me. I'm Gary Chambers, and I'm running for the U.S. Senate, and I approve this message. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, that was a good commercial. I ain't gonna lie, that was a good commercial. I'm not in support of legalizing marijuana, but Gary Chambers, that was a good commercial. But here's the thing, guys. There's a lot of people, surprisingly, who's in support of legalizing marijuana because they believe there's a lot of positive impacts medically um, and judicially uh, to why they should legalize marijuana. Me, personally, I'm not in favor for it because I believe that if you legalize marijuana, it's just going to be another drug or something, right, uh, that they're going to want to legalize next. Now, um, I think Gary Chambers mentioned two times in his commercial that I just showed you guys uh, that people are getting arrested. Police are arresting people for using marijuana, right? But he's not telling you people are dealing marijuana. You know what I mean? They are actively engaged in transactions or they're committing another crime and just so happen to have marijuana on them. It doesn't really matter. I mean, the law is the law. So just saying that people are getting arrested for, uh, you know, having weed on them or selling it. I mean, you're not supposed to have weed on you. You're not supposed to have weed on you. But my thing is that they legalize marijuana, right? I mean, are you really going to, so what, what would be the stipulations on that? Are you, are you going to see people walking down the street, sitting by the bus stop, smoking marijuana? Are people going to be getting high, driving, smoking marijuana? You know what I mean? It, what about when these people get released from prison, right, for selling drugs or whatever? You know, what if they go back to doing that? What's to stop them? You know what I mean? Is, is, is it going to have the same stipulations as when you're selling loose cigarettes? I mean, both inter, both uh, infractions result in an uh, interaction with a police officer. So it's my belief that it's, it shouldn't be just the sole argument that, um, you know, if you legalize marijuana, you, you reduce the amount of people who go to prison for breaking the law when it comes to marijuana. You know, if you don't change those behaviors, those behaviors of I'm going to do what I want to do instead of following the law, right? Those people are going to still end up back in jail. They're still going to end up back in prison, right? Um, so I think that the argument is deeper than just saying, oh, we need to legalize marijuana um, to, to make it fair for everybody else. My thing is, guys, it's illegal for a reason. I mean, no different than alcohol, right? When you're getting drunk, you're not yourself. I think when you're getting high, you're not yourself. Um, and more importantly, guys, in this, and I know some of you guys don't believe it's coming, but in this rapidly progressive culture that is taking over America right now, everything is getting more progressive. So we legalize marijuana. What's the next step? Cocaine, meth, heroin. You know what I mean? People are constantly writing articles looking for any excuse to paint these drugs in a positive light. You know what I mean? But I think that there's a reason marijuana was deemed to be illegal. What was that reason? You know, I would like to know. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section box below what you guys think. But personally, it's, in my opinion, marijuana should stay illegal. Um, you got alcohol. You know what I'm saying? Be happy with that. A lot of these guys who are supporting marijuana or trying to claim these medicinal facts about marijuana is because they enjoy marijuana recreationally. So they want to see mar marijuana legal, you know what I mean? But I think that there's a long-term impact that Americans could face if they legalize marijuana. And I don't think that it'd be positive. I think it'd be negative. I think a lot of people will be utilizing marijuana uh, for recreational use. I mean, you got people that's already doing it, right? Just not getting caught, right? Or they're working jobs that don't do drug tests. They're already smoking, getting high, you know? Hot boxing, using gas masks putting it on their face to cut off as much oxygen to their brain as possible and so they can let in the marijuana smoke. So they can bathe their, their brain in marijuana smoke. You know, I just think that it'll be a lot of negative 
implications if they legalize marijuana. I mean, because now people aren't going to be trying to hide it. They're going to be doing it in the open. I think that it can do a lot more damage than it would good. But that's just my thoughts, guys. I could be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel.